Hey everybody, this is Jim at Juggernaut Tactical. Today we're going to be going over the complete assembly of the new California compliant AR-15 rear tank dump pin and mag lock kit all in one. As if it was going into your previous version, California compliant, with the bullet button and regular standard rear tank dump pin. So when you receive your new California compliant rear tank dump pin and mag lock kit, this is what it will come in. You're going to go ahead and open this kit. Open the baggie. Let me show you what all the parts are for here. So this is your rear takedown pin with the spring. You can go ahead and untwist this and spring. Set that off to the side. This is your mag lock. You have your adjustable detent right there. And you also have two springs. You drop the first spring in and the second spring. You can leave those off to the side for now. The first step to this assembly is we're going to take apart this rear takedown pin. So we're going to have to take off the castle nut and loosen the buffer tube just a little bit. So, first here, let's take out this buffer and spring. Set that aside. Now we can loosen the castle nut. And let's loosen the end plate away a little bit. Alright, be careful you don't lose your detent and spring. So, let's twist the buffer tube a little bit so we have access. Okay, let's get this brick takedown pin out. Take out your old takedown pin, or you can insert your new one. Put the new one in, line up the holes for the detent. Insert your spring. Make sure it's aligned, it's clicked in, it's found its spot. Now let's go ahead and put this end plate, castle nut, and buffer tube back together. Make sure everything's aligned. Slide this end plate up. Okay, let's tighten the castle nut. Make sure it's nice and snug. All right. And then install your buffer and spring. All right. So that's the rear takedown pin. Replace the factory one and install the new California compliant one. Once we've installed our new rear takedown pin, next we're going to focus on uninstalling the old California compliant bullet button. Now we're going to go ahead and disassemble the bullet button using your bullet button tool. You're going to slide in there and just turn it counterclockwise. Pull that out. You can leave your magazine catch installed and you're going to take your factory magazine release spring and button. You're going to push both of these in, apply some pressure, and then start rotating it. You will need something to push the button to keep it in, so I like to use this Allen wrench. Push it in and give it a few turns. Make sure you can still release the magazine freely. It's not too tight. Perfect. Next, we can install the magazine lock. All right, guys, now we're going to focus on removing the old factory bolt catch and installing the new magazine lock. So what we need to do is remove this roll pin with a roll pin punch. We're going to go ahead and knock this out. Once we have the old bolt catch taken out, 
what we're going to do is keep the spring and detent inserted. But before we can put the new magazine lock in, you're going to want to apply a little Loctite to that set screw. So go ahead and take your Allen. And the easiest way to do this is screw the detent all the way out, not till it comes out, but just all the way out a little bit so you can see most of the threads. Grab a little Loctite here. And you want to take just a little bit, just a little bit of Loctite, and run it on those threads. So once you have some Loctite installed, go ahead and back it out even more. Now we can install it. Alright, so once we're going to hold it in, align with that pin, you're going to need a buddy, so you're going to have an extra set of hands. Or if you're talented. There you go. Once it started, it's pretty easy. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Your rear takedown pin installed and your new magazine lock. Make sure, like I said, you do install just a little bit of red Loctite to that set screw so it's set. Make sure you give it a solid 24 hours so that Loctite can dry and you ensure that that set screw does not move. Let me go ahead and install this upper and complete this installation. Grab our end plate and spring, throw that on there, you're 100% complete. Enjoy the new California compliant Juggernaut Tactical Kit. Remember guys, don't forget to refer to our other videos on how to properly adjust your magazine lock before the Loctite dries to ensure that you have proper fitment and you stay within California compliance. Thank you.